Have you ever heard about the saying, a little party never killed nobody? I hate that saying so much. Why, you may ask? Well, maybe because it's not fucking true. What you mean a little party never killed nobody? What about all the people who overdosed at a party? What about all the people who tried to perform some of the most unrealistic stunt, like jumping from the roof head first? People do stupid shit at parties. People die at parties. So saying a little party never killed nobody is simply not true. See, what I just did was so fucking annoying. If you do this at a party, best believe you won't be invited ever again stop being that overly smart overly confident overly i can disprove every statement guy we get it mr cool pants you're smart but can you just i don't know shut the fuck up i feel like everyone has at least been to one party and if not this video may just be for you it's not like i'm gonna give you any advice it's just that we are gonna collectively talk shit about you but hey maybe today is the day the day you finally find out why you never get invited in the first place throwing a party while your parents are out of town a birthday party a family party an overly aggressive gender reveal party that <laughs> almost ended California. Let me tell you something. If you don't get invited to a gender reveal party, a family gender reveal party, you must be a real fucking villain. Not getting invited to a gender reveal party is a different type of hating. Point is... Parties come in all different shapes and forms, just like the people attending those parties. You meet some of the most questionable creatures at those events. Creatures so bizarre that you start asking yourself, who the fuck invited this guy? Turns out nobody did, he pretty much invited himself. Do you know who shouldn't be invited to a party? The Matrix escaping, I'm not gonna work a 9 to 5, Andrew Tate is my goat guy. Listen, I totally respect the grind outside of a 9 to 5. I totally respect the idea of living a different lifestyle than most people. Shit, I even respect Andrew Tate being your idol if that's the guy who gets you to the next level in life. Shit, I don't care. But when I'm talking to this 10 out of 10 girl, do not, and I repeat, do not approach me. Telling her how we talked about escaping the Matrix, making big money, talking how the banks are robbing us, talking about how Rothschild is owning everything on this planet like shh, shh. that's something me and you talked about are you out of your fucking mind bro please where is your social intelligence she's not gonna sit there and think wow these guys are so cool high value man wow if anything you are gonna scare living shit out of her bro you are scaring the host my brother speaking of girls am i the only one with friends who do some of the wildest shit known to mankind when females are present it's okay bro you don't have to put me in the tightest headlock ever just because Jessica is present. You are not gonna impress her by doing that, I promise you. You are just making a fool out of yourself. That's how a lot of fights break out at parties in the first place. Some guy is a little drunk. He sees a female that he likes. His brain stops working. To impress her, he, as stated before, does some stupid shit and boom fight while we're on the topic of fighting i advise everyone watching this to never ever 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 invite a bozo to a party being a bozo has a lot of meanings but i like to go with the one urban dictionary gives me a bozo is someone with a really low iq and because of that low iq he doesn't get most of the jokes that are being made quite the opposite actually he gets mad because he thinks everything literally everything that's said is a direct attack at him. He doesn't understand shit and therefore gets super duper ultra mad, which leads to an argument which often leads to a fight. The bozo, most of the time at least, doesn't socialize with anyone at a party. He just leans against the wall with a cup in his hand and analyzes everyone in that room. He waits for the smallest shit to happen so he can cause a fucking scene, bro. Fucking bozo, man. I hate people like that so fucking much, bro. What is your fucking issue? It is a fucking party, bro. We just trying to have fun. We just trying to have a good time. Why are you causing a fucking scene, bro? I really feel bad for people who are bad at socializing. I mean, bozos are bad at socializing, but they mess up with the aggressiveness, so I don't really feel bad for them there are actually cool people people who are likable as fuck but at the same time socially awkward so they don't really know where they stand in society am i an anti-social weirdo with no friends or am i actually a cool person who just gets nervous as fuck around a big group of people most of the time it's the latter one without a doubt some of the coolest people i know are absolutely anti-social but since we're speaking about parties it's not a good idea to invite that guy and i know this sounds hard but a party is all about socializing, and if you're that guy, don't get mad at me. People maybe like you, maybe they think you're a cool guy, but you just don't really fit into that category of partying with a big group of people, being around a lot of people that you don't know. If anything, not inviting you saves you. Imagine yourself being at a really big crowd at party. Everyone is gonna look at you weird, and you definitely don't want that. However, the worst type of human being you can invite to a party is the one who thinks he got the world's funniest jokes. <sighs> proceeds to drop some of the most inhumane, most racist, most absurd joke known to mankind. <sighs> 
Brother, if you are my friend, I don't care if you're some random motherfucker who invited himself in, but if you are my friend and I'm the one who got you to the party in the first place, please, I beg you, can you behave like a normal fucking human being, bro? It's okay if your humor is dark. Everyone in that room is gonna think I'm the same fucking weirdo like you. And I am that same fucking weirdo like you, but, but the girls don't have to know that, bro. If you have any funny party stories, let me know in the comment section down below. Follow me on Instagram. Don't forget that. Follow me on Instagram right here. If you like the video, do nothing. If you like the content, do nothing. It's been your boy, guys, and I'm out. Peace.